My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review for The Batman Season 3. And let's just get into my biggest issue and it's the fact that Ellen Nunn and Chief Warhorse are just gone. They're just written off. There's no explanation, there's no acknowledgement. It's like they never existed and that really pisses me off because I liked Ellen's partnership with Batman. I thought that was a great addition to this show. It was an original character with an original dynamic and it's just gone like that. Not a fan and also I would have liked to see Chief Warhol's maybe grow as a character as James Gordon changes the way the police work with Batman. I, I, I just feel like they wasted so much potential by just throwing those characters away. A huge disservice to them. But this is another entertaining season of television while being a step down from season two. Uh, let's begin talking about the cast and once again I like Rhino Romano as Batman. I think he brings a fresh take to this character and he just does a great job with everything he needs to do. I also continue to like Kevin Michael Richardson as Joker. He makes the character feel fresh and new. Tom Kenny as Penguin, I'm just tired of. Uh, but then we've got some new characters here. Mitch Pelge as James Gordon, I think does a very good job. It feels like a nice new take on the character while still keeping the core elements. Then you've got Danielle Judovitz as Batgirl and I love this version of the character. It's fresh, it's new, but it still feels like Batgirl. She can be really witty and funny when she needs to be. She can be a badass when needed. She's teachable, but also confident of herself. And I just really like this take on the character. Then you've got Pira Coppola as Poison Ivy, who I think does a very good job as well. A very distinct voice but I like what she brings to this character. So the new cast members I thought did a good job and the episodes are a bit of a mixed bag. Bad Girl Begins I think is a great introduction to Bad Girl and Poison Ivy. I like how they are friends before becoming enemies and how they call each other red. I also like the villain Tumblr. I think he's very cool. So yeah, good start. A Dark Knight to Remember I think is perfectly fine. Nothing great but nothing bad either. Um, okay, here's my hot take and maybe my favorite episode this season is A Fist for Felt. It's the one with the ventriloquist as he tries to rehabilitate himself and we see him try to do better but he ends up falling short. And some people might call this episode stupid, but I find it to be an interesting look at an interesting character. I liked how they explore him without having some evil giant robot by the end of it. I feel like they actually treated the character with respect this time. So I loved that episode and even the way Hugo Strange has a wall in it. Then we've got RPM, which has a new villain, Gearhead, who does a fine enough job. It's kind of dumb, but it's entertaining, so I'm fine with it. Braun, you've got Joker becoming huge, which I like it when Akmasan does it. I like it when Visho does it. It's um, nothing great, but it's entertaining. The Laughing Cats. Um, I didn't care for the first... 12 minutes of this episode, but the last section in the maze is amazing. <laughs> uh, Flo's Demar, I really like this episode. It's Poison Ivy replacing people with plants, and I just love the plot, and <laughs> there's a few lines that made me laugh very, very good. Uh, the first one is when James asks Barbara how was her day at school and she's like, me learned good today. Just the way she says it, 
it, it, it cracked me up. And when uh, Gordon goes to arrest Batman for homicide, you killed this plant. Love it. So, a very silly but fun episode. Uh, Cash for Toys. I love Patrick Warburton coming back as Cash Tankinson. I like how he has to supervise Bruce Wayne as he tries to sneak out and be Batman. That dynamic really worked for me. What didn't work was the villain Cosmo Crank or whatever. Like, it just... An embarrassment. Um, just really stupid. It gets really retarded by the end. Not a fan of this episode. Then we get The Apprentice, which I thought was a really bad episode. It felt like a throwback to Joko in Season 1. It just went too far. It, it went com too off the rails. I did not like this episode at all, and Prank was a stupid character. Thunder is a great episode. It's kind of got like a diehard kind of flavor, flavor to it. Um, yeah, I thought this episode was just really exciting and really unique and I love the villain, Maxi. So yeah, great episode actually. And then we've got the Icy Depths and I like the treasure hunt element. It's entertaining enough while never being great. And Gotham's ultimate crim criminal mastermind. Hot take, I don't really care for this episode. Its approach of AI just feels redundant and it does nothing for me. So yeah, that's like the best reviewed episode of this season, but eh. So um, yeah, anyways, um, I would say that this season's a bit of a mixed bag, but there's more good than bad. It's consistently entertaining. I love some of the new additions. I wish they paid a bit more respect to the other characters who are now gone, but I'll still give the Batman Season 3 a 6 out of 10. Okay, have you seen the Batman Season 3? What did you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like. Comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos soon, and Gavin out.